So as a kid, my dad had a old blue chip computer that was like in a storage room. And you know, as a kid, it didn't work. It, it never worked for the entire time that I knew it existed. And I wanted to make it work. I like things that I don't know the answer to. I'm a problem solver. I've got a very problem solving mind, I always have. Um, and that's why I love mathematics. My family, they all, they're all artists and I can't draw at all. And I felt like um, computer science was my like outlet for art in the form of mathematics. I'm, I'm particularly interested in nanotechnology. Uh, nanotechnology and also uh, astrophysics. If you have the interest and the desire for the knowledge, it's very easy to find out where you belong. I personally love chemistry and I find it to be a puzzle. I really enjoy like the physical aspect of science because honestly without science we wouldn't have anything. I mean I would say that science uh, gives us more information about uh, what is happening around us. But at the end of the day, like engineers cannot do everything on themselves, it's the teamwork. So you have to incorporate also the science, people from physics, from chemistry, from biology. So I believe the STEM, the word STEM, is very important. Earlier this year, the Baton Rouge Area Chamber saw the particular need for a regional strategy to both increase the number of students that are pursuing STEM degrees, as well as increasing the number of students that are career ready. We're very excited because Baton Rouge Community College, we have about 688 students in pre-engineering, 1,500 in the general science degree program, 300 in the Associate of Science Louisiana transfer degree, and then we have another 100 in computer science and IT related fields. Well, the Little Fee is a high-performance cluster or supercomputer in a box. It was developed to make technology more accessible and easier to use so that other users can benefit similarly the way that I did. Basically, for this assignment, we're going to be building a balloon set. This device is, in a sense, a small version of a weather balloon. It's really nice to learn how to use and understand all the electrical components that we use in everyday life with all of our technology. So we had to learn how to build the circuit itself and we have to know how it functions in order for us to be able to collect data with it. One day we're doing electronics, the next day we are doing programming. Uh, at the end of the project we go to the NASA Research Facility in Palestine, Texas and we actually launch the thing that we built into the upper atmosphere and collect data with it. So 3D scanner really is the project that we decided and they started by doing a lot of research. What is 3D scanner? What really the component, you know, incorporated to get a 3D scanner in place? Um, it's a project that was originally done by a man named Andrew Barry. Um, he developed the software and the algorithms behind the software, which are all engineering based, and that uh, determines the break in the laser line as it passes over an object in relation to an image of that object. Um, you can pull 3D points um, and build a mesh over it, with, all with open source free software. Uh, whenever I'm explaining something and I see a student, they're like, oh yeah, I get this, thank you for your help, or you're awesome, or anything like that, it's very satisfying. You see that they're actually getting to the answer by themselves, and they actually come back with understanding from class, and they're getting good grades, and they stop coming to you. As an older, engineer, I think it's important that we give back to the engineering community uh, through the working with students that are considering uh, majoring in engineering.
The community college um, level is, is a fabulous solution. It's a bridge between a student um, just sort of trying to figure out what they want to be in life and the actual process and pathway to get there.